Hey team, welcome back. Leaders want to know. I know that seems like a really obvious statement and a really random statement, but often we think we want to know, but leaders actually don't want to know. They just want to put their ideas in place and want to get people to do them. So um, yeah, I've been working with loads of people lately who are new in their job or who are working in scenarios where say they're working with a new principal or a new office manager or something like that. And so um, this is the result of that. It's just the impact of these discussions. So it's got me thinking that good leaders listen and ask questions first. They watch and they understand, they learn. They want to know what you are doing and why this happens. And then they work towards change or even better improvement to make things stronger and better and impacting with more success. And they give time to all of this. They don't rush it through. This approach is about learning, but it's also about building enduring cultures of collaboration, genuine partnership, and most of all, mutual respect. If you are a leader wanting to be impactful and respected for any length of time, then we might suggest thinking about working this way. Effective leadership is about communication, relationships and credibility. It is also about the team. You can't lead without a team. And if you're new, think long and slow about your approach. Learn first. People want to know that you care and you respect their work. They want to be understood and to build trust in you. They really aren't interested in your ideas, your previous work, or telling them that they are wrong or that you have something new before you have taken the time to learn first. Effective leaders genuinely want to know. They take the time to ask questions, they give time to the team and to workplaces. They triangulate the data. They don't go on hearsay or what someone else has said. They don't judge on a one-off experience. And a very wise leader taught me to be curious first. Change and impactful leadership begins with curiosity and questions, with wondering. Tell me, why does this happen? How does this work? Why did you decide to do this? What happened before this? How... Why did you decide not to follow this process or to do this? What else do I need to know? Does it work and how do you know? What are the successes and what needs to be done differently? Learn. Don't assume you know. Don't assume that what happens in one situation happens here. Don't assume that one experience is the summary of what goes on. Don't underestimate the thought and the effort that has gone into what is already in place. Respect it. Give time to it. Acknowledge it. Learn about your team and how they work and why things happen. No, don't guess. Then begin to challenge and question and probe and investigate. Invest before investigating. Learn before you challenge. Know before you change. Ask what, how, and why. Don't railroad and bring in your thinking without knowing first. Respect what is there, and the respect will come to your way, your way in turn. And finally, recognise the impact of, in my last school, whether you like this or not, it sends a message that my old school was better than this, and I'm, not, I'm going to do it my way. Learning is about respecting where you have come to and showing the value of what is there. Most people want to learn to grow and to change. There is just a way of bringing this to the table. Get to know your team.